from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Wednesday, February the 8th, 2017. Israel's high court has given the state 30 days to respond to a petition against the recently passed regulation law. The controversial bill retroactively legalizes Jewish settlement homes built unknowingly on Palestinian-owned land. Israeli Justice Tzvi Handel heard a petition from 17 Palestinian municipalities against the bill today. Meanwhile, Israel's Channel 2 reports that Attorney General Avichai Mandelblit is considering testifying against the Knesset in Israel's Supreme Court regarding the bill. Mandelblit has said several times that he would not be able to defend the legislation. If he, in fact, testifies against it, it would be the first time an Israeli Attorney General has actually taken a stand in court against the state. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu met today with Israel's ambassadors to Africa, laying out Israel's foreign policy interests there and ultimately its potential impact at the United Nations. The Prime Minister said there are 54 countries in the UN. If you change the voting habits of these countries, referring to the African nations, you immediately flip them from one end of the spectrum to the other. He said doing so would significantly change the bias that Israel faces at the international body and even have a majority there. Netanyahu said we want to collapse the resistance and turn it into support. Terror group Hamas released its latest propaganda video threatening Israel. A Hebrew language animated music video titled Zionists You Will Perish in Gaza was uploaded to YouTube last night. It urges terror attacks and rocket attacks against Israeli civilians and the IDF. The video comes just a day after a rocket was fired into Israel from the Gaza Strip, landing in an open area in the Ashkelon Regional Council with no injuries, for which the IDF retaliated, striking several Hamas terror targets in the Strip. Israeli archaeologists have found what they say is evidence of a 12th cave that once contained more Dead Sea Scrolls. The ancient scrolls from the Second Temple period were up until now believed to have been found in 11 caves in the area of Qumran in Israel's Judean desert. Dr. Oren Gutfeld and Achiad Ovadia from Hebrew University's Institute of Archaeology, together with Dr. Randall Price and students from Liberty University in Virginia, made the discovery. Gutfeld said this exciting excavation is the closest we've come to discovering new Dead Sea Scrolls in 60 years. The archaeologists said they believe the scrolls were looted in the 1940s. Director General of the Israel Antiquities Authority, Israel Hassan, said the important discovery of another scroll cave attests to the fact that a lot of work remains to be done in the Judean desert, and finds of huge importance are still waiting to be discovered. Israelis and Canadians are working together to find cybersecurity solutions for the international finance services sector. The governments of Ontario and Israel are committing over $3 million each through Ontario Centers of Excellence, the OCE, and the Israel Innovation Authority over a five-year period towards a new initiative which is part of the Ontario Israel Research Network program Magnet. OCE President and CEO Tom Kaur said Israel's leadership in the cybersecurity field makes it a natural partner for Ontario in seeking to deliver state-of-the-art technology. And taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Wednesday, February the 8th. At 7 o'clock, it's from the Aleph Bet. At 7.40, a discussion on the importance of Israel education and pro-Israel activism on American college campuses. At 8, NYU graduate students talk about their work for the student multi-faith group Agora with NYU's Rabbi Yehuda Sarna on millennial perspectives. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with director of the ZOA Center for Law and Justice, Susan Tuckman, who talks about her legal work in particular in fighting the BDS movement that seeks to delegitimize the state of Israel. At 10, transgender author Yiska Smith discusses her life's journey in a program of Bethel Synagogue Center of New Rochelle. And coming up right after this newscast tonight at 6.30, it's Thinking Out Loud with Micah Halpern. And that's the JBS News Update for Wednesday, February the 8th, 2017. I'm Tisha Bader.